Recent years have seen the introduction of a stunning number of new factory rifle cartridges, with each being heralded as the next big thing for hunting or competitive shooting. Will today's newest cartridges follow the same sad market trajectory that many have in the past, or will some of them duplicate the success of the 6.5 Creedmoor? The odds are against it. The 6.5 is likely a once-in-a-generation cartridge that has become a global standard, but some of the newcomers may be poised to do very well. Of course, new cartridges come and go, and only time will tell, but here's a look at some of the newer cartridges to keep an eye on in the years ahead. Number 5. 224 Valkyrie The long-range shortcomings of the 223 Rem 556 NATO cartridge have long left AR rifle fans wishing for something better in 22 caliber centerfire. Nosler took a swing at a solution in 2017 with its 22 Nosler, which improved upon 223 REM performance by sending bullets of similar weight, initially topping out at 77 grains, downrange faster. In 2018, Federal unveiled its own offering, the 224 Valkyrie, which was essentially built around a long, sleek, high BC 90 grain bullet zipping along at 2700 FPS and typically fired from rifle barrels with a fast 1 to 7 twist rate to better stabilize such bullets. That particular load, with a HPBT Match King bullet, remained supersonic to about 1,300 yards. To get there, Federal modified and necked down a 6.8 Remington SPC case to 22 caliber, keeping overall length short enough to work in an AR action and creating a 1,000-yard cartridge in the process. That sort of performance out of an AR-15 platform was stunning. It made the cartridge a great minimal recoil, long-range varmint and predator round, and while some will always disagree, it is a viable deer cartridge at reasonable range, where legal, and in the hands of a competent shooter. The cartridge has thus far received an enthusiastic reception, particularly among AR rifle fans, and while ammo makers seldom reveal sales figures, the 224 Valkyrie is trending up 30% year-over-year sales growth. Federal currently offers seven different loads with bullet weights ranging from 60 to 90 grains, and other ammo makers, including Hornady and Sierra, are loading for the cartridge. A host of gun makers are now building both ARs and bolt-action guns chambered for 224 Valkyrie. Number 4. 6mm Creedmoor The concept for the 6mm Creedmoor has been around since 2007 when Jon Snow worked with Hornady to develop a wildcat for a story in outdoor life. He wanted to call his creation, which was essentially a 6.5 Creedmoor neck down to use 243 bullets, the 6mm hole for Hornady Outdoor Life Express. The Wildcat went on to do quite well in PRS competition. Noting the rising popularity of the cartridge, Hornady introduced it as a factory offering in 2017 and the round has since taken off. The cartridge is a strong seller in Hornady's match line and is starting to gain traction as a hunting cartridge. But do hunters really need another 6mm option when the 243 win has served so well since 1955? The short answer is yes and here's why. For starters, because it shares many design characteristics of the parent 6.5 Creedmoor, it is wonderfully accurate. In bullets of similar weight, it also has less drop and wind deflection. Consider the Winchester 95 grain 243 Wind Deer Season XP load versus Hornady's 103 grain 6mm Creedmoor ELDX load. The Hornady starts out 50 FPS slower but outruns the 243 by 168 FPS at 300 yards and 279 FPS at 500 yards. There's also a growing number of available factory loads in 6mm Creedmoor. A quick check of current offerings reveals a total of 16 loads being produced by Hornady, Federal, Barnes, Remington, Sierra, Berger, and Sig Sauer. Number 3. The Numbered Noslers Few companies have been as busy introducing new cartridges over the last decade than Nosler. First came the 26 Nosler, a 6.5mm cartridge in 2013. That was followed by the 28 Nosler, a 7mm cartridge in 2015, the 30 Nosler 308 in 2016, and the 33 Nosler 338 in 2017. While these potent cartridges have earned a following, space precludes a discussion of all of them, so we'll focus on the new twoest members of the lineup, the 22 and the 27 Nosler. The 22 Nosler, introduced in 2017, was created for AR-15 rifles to improve upon the performance of the 223 Rem and utilize, you guessed it, long heavy for caliber bullets. Although the case is larger and the round requires a 6.8 SPC magazine, its rebated rim remains compatible with a 223 Rem bolt face. It has about 15% greater case capacity and delivers a significant increase in velocity. The company claims a 400 FPS increase over the 223 with 55 grain bullets launched out of 24 inch barrels. Where things really get interesting is with heavier bullets which currently top out at 85 grains in factory loads. 
zeroed at 200 yards, again using a 24-inch barrel, that bullet drops only 7.1 inches at 300 yards, 20.5 inches at 400 yards, and 41.4 inches at 500 yards. That puts it in some pretty racy company, and the cartridge has built a reputation for delivering good accuracy. Number 2. 6.5 PRC We recently polled a number of seasoned fellow enthusiasts, asking them which of the newest cartridges they thought had the best chance of long-term success, and the number one vote-getter was Hornady's 6.5 PRC. The cartridge was developed as a long-range hunting round and is often referred to as a magnumized 6.5 Creedmoor. Since it's based on a neck-down 300 Ruger compact magnum case, the cartridge holds nearly 30% more powder than the 6.5, but not so much as to be overboard and significantly shorten barrel life. It pushes same weight bullets 200 to 250 FPS faster than its Creedmoor sibling, and it does so with excellent accuracy while producing relatively mild recoil. Loaded with Hornady's excellent ELDX bullets, the round hits a ballistic sweet spot for hunters who prowl big open country. Past 300 yards or so, the 6.5 PRC starts to outrun 7mm Rem Mag bullets of similar weight and is less impacted by wind. Hornady says the cartridge has really taken off as more and more gun manufacturers add the chambering to their lineups and the company is finding it a challenge to keep up with demand. Number 1. 6.5 Weatherby RPM Weatherby has never judged the success of its cartridges by the number of other companies that load ammo or chamber rifles for Weatherby cartridges. Rather, the firm has always relied upon a strong and fanatically loyal customer base, including yours truly. It therefore came as no small surprise when Weatherby introduced the 6.5 Weatherby RPM cartridge last year. The case had no double radius shoulder and, shockingly, no belt. Instead, it had a rebated rim and a large body diameter with little taper and a 35 degree shoulder to increase capacity and boost 6.5 mm bullet velocities to satisfy Weatherby loyalists' need for speed. Launching a 140-grain AccuBond bullet at 3,075 FPS, the round is faster than most other 6.5mm cartridges and delivers 1,500 foot-pounds of energy at 500 yards. It was introduced as a marriage made in heaven match for the new Mark V Backcountry TI rifle, which weighs a mere 4.9 pounds, and the non-titanium Backcountry, which weighs 5.4 pounds. While the new cartridge is a significant departure from the past for Weatherby, don't expect it to be the last. The company hints at plans to build on the rebated Precision Magnum family in the future. If the 6.5 Weatherby RPM still isn't fast enough for you, you need only look at the 6.5 300 Weatherby Magnum, introduced five years ago. Based on the 300 Weatherby Mag case, that cartridge sends 127 grain bullets sizzling along at 3,531 FPS, making it the world's fastest commercial 6.5mm cartridge. That's all for this video, folks. See you another time.